Hey, it's Kevin. Thank you so much for coming by for the No BS Social Media Chat. You know, I grew up in a media household. My father started in radio when I was literally in the womb, transferred or switched into television by the time I was four or five years old, and for the most of my life, my father was on the television. So I kind of grew up in a television household, not just watching TV, but, well, living with somebody who was worried about how he presented himself year-round. My father never went outside never left the house, I should say, without properly being dressed. Now, I don't mean a suit and a tie. I mean it had to be a jazzy sports coat, a jazzy sweater, flashy pants, whatever it was. My father never went out in a sweatshirt or a ball cap. Now, he'd sit around the house in a white t-shirt and sweat shorts or sweat pants or either way, but never go outside with it. He was always properly dressed when he was going out. And that kind of stuck with me. We all present ourselves to the world however we want to present ourselves. You know, sites like TMZ love to spot stars, or even the, the paparazzi love to spot stars when they're in their sweats, when they're not properly made up, when they're looking like real people, when they're looking like schlumps, as I like to call it. And, and we all deal with that with social media. In fact, I think that's the one thing about social media we, we've viewed over the years, is that people only present the self they want to present on social media rather than the real them. I run into this conversation all the time with my media friends, whether they're radio or television media types, and especially with my recording artists, where we talk about, well, presenting the real you, being allowed to be the real you in social media, in public. And it's tough. We all have to struggle with presenting that real you. I'll have clients who argue me they should never, ever be seen in sweats or for a woman to be seen in a ponytail with her hair not properly made up or the makeup not on and you know what we all have to deal with that but the reason I'm wearing my glasses today which I've worn glasses now for 50 years and haven't fully shaven I've still got a little bit of you know stubble now the one thing I'm not gonna do is I'm never gonna let you see my bed head that's just that's a rule very few people my wife sees my bed head that's about it there's a hat or whatever but so you're not gonna get the real real me but it's all for a point. It's all for a purpose. Sure, I'm wearing the same intensity media utility shirt that I wear in every single video. And sometimes my hair is longer, sometimes my hair is shorter, sometimes I probably need a haircut and haven't gotten one. But I, I try to present myself in a certain way. I try to present myself where the background's always the same, I'm always the same. It, it, it is what it is because I want you to view me as an expert. I want you to view me as someone that you can trust, believe in, accept what they say, not necessarily as gospel, but accept what they say as some sort of fact when it comes to social media. But today I'm exposing the real me. Now, does it matter? Do you view me differently because I'm wearing glasses and not wearing my contact lenses? Do you view me differently because I'm not shaven? In fact, I think I've worn a full beard or somewhat of a full beard before during these videos. But what I'm saying is it's okay every now and again to peel back the layers of who we are, to peel back the curtain and let people see the real us. I know it's a struggle. I know with social media we don't necessarily want to do those things, but trust me, it's okay. And in fact, I think your fan base, your fans, your followers, your friends are going to appreciate it because they're going to kind of feel that they've come inside the velvet ropes, that they've come backstage to see who you are. I, I don't care if you're a business person. I don't care if you're in the media. I don't care if you're a recording artist. I don't care what you do. Letting go of the facade every now and again is actually a good thing. Back next week, another No BS social media chat. I'll have my contacts back in for the next week, I'm sure. NoBSSocial.com, the website where you can find all of our videos. IntensityMedia.com, that's our homepage on, on the Internet. As well, if you want to talk to me, you want to reach out by phone, you want to email me, you want to text, whatever it is, my phone number, my email connection coming up here at the end of the video. I thank you for stopping by, and it's okay. You can be real. Give somebody a gift for the holiday. See you next week. Thanks.